For cheat games, MSP and PS their money, check out my sponsor G2A, the link's down below in the description, and use the code RIG3 for 3% cash back. Alright guys, now to be showing some cards that I recommend picking up before Black Friday, so if you guys will enjoy this video, and if you do, please smash that button down below. So for these cards, the reason I recommend picking them up is because of the flash SBCs that usually happen, so um, first up for this video, rare silver cards now. Once from the main nations, pick them up for 250, 300 coins through bidding. Very easy to pick up them prices. So, um, main nations got England, Germany, France, Spain. They're the four that I sort of focus on. Pick up a decent amount for like 250, 300 coins. And there's going to be quite a few flash SBCs that probably take them up to about 1,000 to 2,000 coins. So, um, yeah, rare silver cards. Definitely recommend picking up some of them. Next up for this video, got investing to do a gold player. So, last year of Black Friday. We got a lot of SBCs that had requirements like players from the same league, max 3, max 4, and when that happens, people focus on one country. Now, the countries that I usually find good are usually Germany, France, and Spain. So what I do, says to France just here, for the ones in the French league, not going to move much because there's quite a few French players in that league. But in Syria, there's not many options. Like these cards, the second, try pick them up for like 400 coins, 500 coins through bidding, and there's a very good chance they'll go up. Same for ones in the Bundesliga as well, so just based on for French players outside of Ligue 1. With Germany, it's exactly the same. The Bundesliga ones probably won't move much, but Germans in La Liga, they're pretty cheap, could be good. Same for Premier League ones, ones in Ligue 1 and also Serie A. So um, it's a very simple investing tip, but usually each year, this is a very good one to do. Going into the next tip for this video now, which one which could save some coins, potentially make some coins as well, and still with the requirement of requiring one or two players max per club now. EA seems to like this requirement, so what I recommend doing is, so the max price of 350, gold just there, pick one of the main leagues and just go through and pick up a load of gold for like 350 by doing that. You're not risking many coins. Make sure you pick them up from loads of different clubs as well and by doing this, it's going to save some coins to the SBCs and hopefully some of the cards you pick up, they'll go up in price as well and make you some coins. Next up for this video, I want to have some 81 and 82 red players, so the reason for this is, Last year, there was quite a few flash SBCs that had team ratings of 80, so 83 red players, they'd already gone up because like the team of the week SBC, and on this game, that's already starting to happen, so the 81, 82 red players, I'm hoping they sort of copy what happened last year, and they go up in price a little bit. Now, with these cards, I recommend picking them up through bidding, through buy now, it's about 900 coins a second, through bidding though, you can pick them up for like 700 coins, 750, so um, try and pick them up like that, players like Bale, Potentially could save you some coins, potentially could make some coins. I'm not really sure how much they'll go up by, but they're definitely going to be useful for some of the SBCs. So if you want to save some coins, definitely worth picking them up now. And if you want to risk it, pick up a few extra ones. Hope the price goes up and hope they can make some profit. Going into the final tip for this video, and this one is a little bit risky. So last year, Black Friday, we got 81 plus league upgrade packs. Now, when that came out last year, the rare goals in the French League, they went up a decent amount. And... There is a chance that we get that SBC again, but it's not guaranteed. So because of that, there's a bit of a risk. The price, it has already gone up for these cards as well. So 1,200, pretty much insta-selling. 1,300, absolutely spammed on the market. But what I'd recommend doing is, if you want to risk some coins on these cards, if you think we'll get this SBC again, wait until tomorrow and during rewards, try and pick them up a little bit cheaper. So hopefully you like the rifle rewards tomorrow. They'll knock the price down a little bit if that happens potentially could be worth investing in some of these cards. So that will be it for this video as well now, so hopefully you enjoyed. If you have, make sure you smash the like button down below, and peace.